Welcome back. So it is the fourth Monday of the month, and that means it is time for the Monday Manger, where Al Abair hangs out with Stacy Dempsey, owner of the Frosted Apron. And I hear today they have the most delicious breakfast dish to share with you. So let's go ahead and check in with them. Hey, Al. Hey, I'm so excited. My favorite day, Monday Manger with yeah. Stacy Dempsey, <laughs> the Frosted Apron. And guess what? It's what time of year is it? It's Easter. It's about to be Easter and I'm so excited. I am too because I know what we're doing. Tell us what we're going to do. Okay, so we have a treat for our friends at home that are watching today because this recipe is something that you're going to want to do. It's easy, it's yummy, and it's the perfect breakfast to wake up Easter morning and do with the kids. I love this. Okay. Tell us what it is. It's Carrot cake pancake. Yes, I love with, carrot cake. With a cream cheese syrup topped with roasted pecans. Oh my God. Oh, Stacy, I'm so excited. It may sound difficult, it's not. You make everything so beautiful <laughs> and so easy. That's well, your. I am ready to show you this recipe because I'm do excited it. about it. Okay, so I'll have you do the honors of mixing the powdered in, uh, powder ingredients. Okay. We're using two cups of Bisquick in the big container. Okay. Two cups of Bisquick. You can use any pancake mix. A fourth cup of granulated sugar. A fourth cup of light brown sugar. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. A half a teaspoon of salt. Again, tell us why we put salt in this. Because it just cuts the, the sweetness a little bit. Okay, that always confuses me. And two teaspoons of the pumpkin pie spice. This has the ginger, it has the cinnamon, it has all that mm. good flavor that you want in a carrot cake. Great. Without having to buy all the separate spices, that's, that's a go-to. And you can get this all year long, right? Yes, you can okay. find that in the grocery store. Okay, so you wanna take a spoon and kinda mix those powder ingredients together. I have two eggs, a cup of whole milk, and you can do a half teaspoon of vanilla extract or, or a teaspoon if you want it to be a little sweeter. And we're just gonna kinda mix these up a little bit. Now you use whole milk because you, you need the extra fat, right? Yes, I feel like it makes the, pa the pancakes a little fluffier. I know there's a lot of people out there who drink the skim milk, whole milk. And, and look, it's, and when you're at home, it's your recipe. So right. if you wanna replace it with a different milk, go for it. I just like to use the whole milk. So now we're gonna pour this in. Mmm. All right. You know how to use that piece of equipment right there, Al? <laughs> Do I know? I have one of these. It's, of course, gasoline-powered, but, but you know, I, oh, this is a, you know what? I like this is a nice slow speed for a, um. It doesn't go everywhere with you. Right. Have. Wow, this is a great mixer, because mine, the low speed is a little higher than I'd like it to be. And they have different speeds on this one, so you actually can go higher. So, do you want, you want to mix I this want it, lower? I want, you want to mix it all together. good i think we're good okay okay and then i use this little grater right here mm -hmm. and if you use two medium carrots about this size or one large you're going to get a cup of carrots okay. i put mine on a, a napkin to kind of take some of that moisture off and so we're going to take that spoon and we're going to fold in a cup of carrot there we go just oh, like wow. that looking good i looking don't want to mix it with the mixer because it'll be too rough on it okay so hey, look, we're gonna go back to Taylor. More news 15 today. We're gonna cook this in just a minute. We'll show you how to cook it and then we'll do some cream cheese syrup. Do not go away. This smells good already. It's not even cooked yet. So back to you, Taylor. More news 15 at noon. I can't wait to see the finished product. It looks delicious. Welcome back to the Monday Manger. Let's check back in with Al and Stacy now. This dish just looks so good. Let's go ahead and see what they're up to. Hey, we are back. We are making carrot cake pancakes. Yay. Perfect Easter breakfast, right, Stacy Dempsey? Fun for the whole family, and it's delicious. I love Stacy. Uh, the Frosted <laughs> Apron, uh, you just got to follow Stacy all the time. Oh, thank you. You're Appreciate the best. that. So tell me what we're doing. Okay, so now we're going to, um, I started the cream cheese syrup, okay? But I just want to show you, we're going to put some butter in a pan. Mm-hmm. 
And the last segment, we showed you how to make the little batter mm -hmm. for the carrot cake pancakes. This is our batter. Okay. You want a fourth cup. Now, I like that because I usually just pour my pancakes and they're never the same size. A fourth cup. And if you do a fourth cup, you're going to get 12 pancakes. Wow, which is perfect for kids. Yep. And really adults. Got it? Got it. I'm spilling all over the place. Okay, so look, two minutes on this side, all right? And then we're going to flip them and it's going to be a minute. So total of three minutes for those pancakes. For the syrup, we're going to do a whole block of cream cheese. <clears throat> and then we're going to do two tablespoons of butter oh, that wow. I creamed together and melted on top of the stove. And then I want to take one and a half cups of powdered sugar. One and a half cups of powdered sugar and three fourths cup of milk. And we're gonna mix it together because you don't want like lumpy syrup, right? So we're gonna try to dissolve some of this sugar in this oh, nice. milk. You don't have to do it completely, just a little bit. And then you wanna pour it into our cream cheese and butter. Oh, that looks nice, it's kind of foamy. Yes. And you're gonna whisk that up on medium heat. Oh, I'm already spilling. Medium heat. And then we're gonna add a half teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of light corn syrup. Oh, nice! Now that's so this is really the, well. it is, and this is what makes it thick into that syrup form. Oh yeah! So we're gonna mix this up. Once it's completely mixed, you want to bring it to a boil and you want to let it thicken up for a couple of minutes. And once it thickens up, you want to take it off the heat and let it cool for about five minutes and it's ready to go. I you can pour it. it on top of your uh, pancakes. So I have some ready for you. Yay! This is the best part of the show. We're going to pour this cream cheese syrup. Wow, that came out beautiful, Stacy. On top. And we're going to top it with roasted pecans happy easter i love this and i want you to try it okay so while i try this stacy tell us where we can find frosted april i just happen to have this fork in my pocket so <laughs> you tell carry us. one everywhere you go right? i do so stacy <laughs> tell us where can we find everything frosted apron uh facebook and instagram you can follow the frosted apron oh. and, of, and of course news 15 will have this um on the website oh God. <laughs> that tastes like a carrot cake does it Yes! Yay! It's so easy. Wake up Easter morning, do this with the kids, have fun. Now you were saying, you weren't sure how you are going to get this to taste like carrot cake. You worked on this really hard. I worked on it. I did it a few times. Um, and I think this is great. If you want it to be a little sweeter, you can always add some more sugar to it. Oh my God. Carrot cake pancakes. <laughs> mm. Only on the Monday Manger. Whoa. <laughs> Back to you, Taylor. I have some work to do on these carrot cake pancakes. Great for Easter. Thank you, Stacy. You're amazing. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Al better save some carrot cake pancakes for the rest of us. Those look delicious. If you want the recipe for this Monday Manger segment, you can find it on our website, klef.com. But stay with us. We'll be right back after this break.